What's up, y'all? This is Brian Adamson, a remote investor. I'm sitting here with one of my new apprentices, Avery, and we're just having a conversation that I want to pull y'all in on. I think oftentimes when we think about mentorship, right, we think about people just getting started, haven't done anything, need help, right? And I think that's a, a part of it. But in Avery's case, you know, he's done, you know, you've been investing for what, two years now, yeah, maybe? Two years. two years. He's done, you know, a couple of deals, been successful in wholesaling quite a few deals yeah. to this point. And I just want to know from your perspective, from somebody that has had success, what made you decide to get mentorship? For me, it was more about taking the guesswork out. Okay. Um, doing some things on my own and, and figuring it out, have some success. Yeah. But also had a lot of pitfalls along the way that could have been avoided if I had somebody that I could reach out to to kind of get through those some obstacles. You Got know, it. I lost money in the process. You know. Got so, it. It's one of them things of, you know, things I've heard from you that you said before that you're going to spend the money to learn one way or another. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So reaching out and being able to tap in with somebody that has, you know, 15 plus years experience to be able to streamline that process was something I knew that was just very important for me as opposed to bumping my head a million times along the way. No, that's major. That's wisdom right there, bro. They say that knowledge is knowing what to do. Wisdom is knowing what not to do.